Hi guys, welcome back to my video series where I've been going through all of the challenges in my book, The C-Sharp Player's Guide, um, and working through them. And we are doing the final battle. We have been for a while now, and we are to this to this one called Vin Fletcher. Um, and we're going to finally give the heroes a second character. It's just been the true programmer the whole time, and we're going to give this guy somebody else. Now... Mostly this is just building a new character type and it's a new, you know, a bunch of, a bunch of things that we've already built into the system. The one new like gameplay mechanic that hasn't existed is this ability, like a probability of success that, that uh, an attack might miss. And yeah, so we are going to have to add that in, but we're going to, the rest of this should be pretty easy. That's the the main that's the meat of this challenge, I think. So I'm going to scoot this off my screen here and we'll just kind of dive in. I do think the, 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 there's a bunch of small things that are going to be really easy to add in, including we have, let's see, we have a new attack and it's called quick shot. So I'm just going to come down in here and add in. Not maybe not right there, maybe up here <laughs> above this attack utilities. Public public static. This one's called quick shot. Could have copied and pasted. Last not static. And then this this says it deals three damage. So we can we can make this simpler, like this one here. The catch being there's a chance that this could fail. Now we need to be able to convey that somehow. And this attack data was kind of meant to do that. This is this is the information about an attack that's that's in progress and And we could do this in a couple of ways. One, we could say, you know, get, get a get a random, you know, yeah, do something kind of like what we've done here to like deal like a random amount of damage. Or we could, and I think that would work to just say, you know, if 25% of the time, what is it? 50% of the time, return new attack data with three damage and 50% of the time, return new attack data with uh, zero damage. Um, but I think I think what we're gonna do here is we're gonna we're gonna modify this attack data to include a probability of success, and we're going to default that to one. So by default, it will be a hundred percent success. And here we're gonna say the damage is three and a probability of success of zero point five. And because this has this optional argument, we didn't have to change any any of these other ones in here so there we've got we have like our metadata defined that's the the kind of the beginning part of this and then we've got our attack defined and oops and we need to add in here a, a public class vin fletcher's bow And so now we've got a bow and that, you know, I mean, I've called this Vin Fletcher's bow. Um, oh, that's, this thing says, call it the Vin's bow. I, I was gonna say it's kind of long. <laughs> the, the book says to call it Vin's bow. Um, what's interesting about this is like, this is not like the way this is where we've got gear and this is, this is gear. Uh, there is a possibility like we, we, Vin could equip a dagger and the true programmer could pick up Vin's bow and start using it if we want it. Uh, or Vin could die and be defeated by a skeleton who then might equip the bow. So, or 
you know, anyway, the, the fact that these are separated allows these the gear to like shift around from one team to another, which is kind of a cool little uh, subtle effect. But so anyway, Vin's bow. And now what we need is to make a new character. So we'll come in here and make a new character. Oh, Ben Fletcher. With a new standard attack that uh, that's, that's a new punch. So Vin's standard attack is punch. Now, if you didn't do the gear one, then you, then you would want this to be quick shot. Uh, the, only, the only reason this is working is because Vin's going to have a... Vin's going to have a the bow as the equipment right from the very beginning. So now let's see. So punch, 15, and then we'll come over here and we will put right here. Let's, I, I think it's worth... Um, Doing a little bit of cleanup here. We expected the true programmer to have that sword, which is um, I'm gonna do it this way. Let's see. Something like that. Actually, given that this is called Vin's bow, I kind of want this to just be Vin's bow as well. So let's make that consistent. And now we've got the true programmer and we've got Vin Fletcher, with the gear like that. And so I think I'm pretty happy with that. In terms of like setting up the game and all the objects, I think everything is good. I think the only thing we haven't accounted for is the fact that this might fail half the time. And like I said, the we could have just done that over um, in that quick shot attack. We could have just, instead of doing what we did here, this probability of success, we could have just said, um, you know, something like, if new random dot next, is less than 0 0.5 return so if it's fit so 50 50 so if it's less than 0 0.5 which is a 50 percent chance then return new attack attack data three else actually we can leave that off because if if it's true then it'll go that way and every everything else will come down this way so we can just say return new attack data zero and we can say console dot right line then you know miss um and then that so i i kind of like like that's that i think is a fine way to do it other than it's kind of nice that none of these other things have themselves been interacting with the console window and and that's we've been pretty heavily intermixing console stuff um, in other elements of the game. It does limit us if we decided we wanted to change away from the console, uh, you know, uh, from a console based thing to something, you know, I, I don't know if we want to use a web thing or a, like a dead, like a WPF or um, Maui or any of the other like <laughs> app models. And we want to put this into unity or something like that. Like there's a lot of things we could do with this that we're we're not doing right now um if we did decide we wanted to have a different like representation in like a different ui besides the console window all these console whatever scattered about is not ideal uh just because we have to extract them all somehow and be able to like make that work with a different thing and that's that would not be a trivial change but one thing we can do here is we can do what like kind of what we, the, the path that I was going down before I went on this little diversion here. And we'll include that here. And now at least a little bit more, a little bit more. Hopefully I don't run out of undos.
look like so this says look th there it's a this attack it's this like attack this like this attack data is and i've said this several times this is like the attack in progress this attack is like a definition of an attack so here we're going to say there there's a new attack going on it can deal three damage but it might miss two so don't count on it um so the other possibility here now with this then like something else has to deal with the display which we i mean it just shifts that problem that i was describing about if we wanted to change away from the console window it shifts away from that but um and makes and makes the attack action have to deal with it, which is already doing a whole lot of console. Like it's already doing a lot of this stuff. So what we can do here though now is we can say, so he, uh, in this case, now we're just resolving that here. If attack data, Let's see if, you know, I'm going to just throw this in here now. dot next double. I, I might, have, I might have typed in next before next will give you an integer. Next double will give you, this is the one I meant to use a, a moment ago. Um, if ra new random dot next double is less than attack data dot probability of success, which that, that can never be. This will never be one. This will always be, it'll be zero to whatever the smallest, the, the largest number less than one that the computer can represent, but it will never be one. But if we really want to be safe, we can say less than or equal. That shouldn't make a huge difference here. But so if, the, if, if the, a random number is less than the probability of success, then do deal, deal the damage. Though I do wonder about private static random let's make that read only that equals new random so rather than making a new random object every time which shouldn't be that big of a deal but um why make objects when you don't need one so uh yeah so if if it's if it's less than the probability of success then then we want to deal the damage. Otherwise, we want to do well. Otherwise, we say console dot right line, and then do something like character dot name missed something like that. That should that might be enough. Let's run this and see what it does. Um, I definitely want uh, to control the human side. Let's see. So it starts off. Tog has the sword. That's what we expect. Vin Fletcher has Vin's bow. That's what we expect. Um, use sword to slash. And now we're going to use quick shot. Uh, use Vin's bow to quick shot. I made a choice about how to display that. I'm at the way that's written. Use Vin's bow to quick shot. It doesn't. <laughs> it's dumb. Uh, I wonder if there's a better way to to do that. I'll have to think about that for a second. I, we're okay with it for right now, though. So. So this might deal, there's a 50-50 chance this will deal three damage and just kill off that skeleton without it even having had a chance. Or it could miss, in which case the skeleton, it'll do zero damage, the skeleton will stay at three. Um, it looks like quick shot dealt three. Oh, dealt three. throw that in there I like that dealt three damage i didn't read that closely enough before but um i also while we're in here console color dot dark red like let's make it stand out a little bit and um
something like that. Give it a little bit of color here. Um, use sword, use quick shot. And that told us it missed. So the interesting thing about this now is that because that bow, because that bow can deal, you know, it, it may or like it's not a guaranteed thing. If it hits, it's gonna it's gonna deliver a certain amount of damage. Um, Yeah, but but it it's not guaranteed to happen. And Vin has when it's Vin's turn, like this, uh, the Tog should never like if you're gonna do an attack, sword will guaranteed deliver two damage every time. Punch will guarantee deliver one damage. There's no reason to ever use punch over sword. However, for Vin, if they like, I like right now, I can I know I can knock out that skeleton with punch, and I don't know I could do that like. It may not work with the other one, so it makes sense in this case to use my secondary, my my basic, my default attack to knock out that skeleton. Um, because the extra two HP wouldn't have made a difference anyway, and this time this was at least guaranteed. That must have been a miss. Yep. Again, once again, I might as well punch. But now I might as well. I'm super. This guy's already almost dead. He should use a potion. It. I said he. It. This is very definitely an it. So I can. I got. Ben can just come in and cup a hand punch. <laughs> Um, I, like, I really do think that's it. I do wonder about that. I got that phrasing. Use Vin's bow to, like I said, it, it made sense with use sword to slash and use dagger to stab. And I, I mean, maybe there's, maybe it's, it's just a matter of something like, let's see. Where is that console player? So something like. Use sword, and then to just do something like the name of the attack, something like that. Um, use use gear dot name. Let's let's give that a go and just see what it looks like. I th I think I'm going to be a lot happier with that. Use sword slash uh, punch. So now if I say use sword, use Vin's bow quick shot. Yeah, I that to me comes out a whole lot better. Um, yeah, um, so I think I'm happy with where the, this is at. This felt a lot smaller than, yeah, I mean, it is, it's 200 XP. Yeah, it felt, I don't know. It felt a whole lot smaller than the gear one we did a little while back. Um, but I think that's it for this one. And I think we've, I think we've got it. I think it's there. So now we have attacks. We built it. That's the main thing is we built in. We have now added in the ability for attacks that have a probability of success. They don't always succeed. So now it's really easy now, uh, with the infrastructure in place to build any sort of attack that has that probability of success, whether that's like, I mean, imagine, imagine having something that has a, that it'll deal 15 damage, but it has a 5% chance of success. Like there may be a place where you're desperate. It's not likely to work, but let's just deal a whole bunch of damage and just hope, you know, a Hail Mary kind of thing. 50% um, has always felt a little low. Like I, I feel like this Vin Fletcher character should be better than 50%. Uh, but I don't, I mean, like I said, it's, it's a gameplay mechanic and for him to miss half the time, it means that his expected damage is going to be not three and not zero, but 1.5 right in the middle because it's 50, 50. And I think that's an, like, 
that, the fact that it could be three, which is honestly the strongest attack in the game right now, um, or it could be zero, um, and it's 50-50, it does leave open this possibility of, you know, I, there's maybe I should punch instead. It's yeah, guaranteed to deliver one damage. Um, or something like, something like, you know, it, it could, it could, yeah, it just, it, it could end up being anywhere in the middle. Any, So it, it's, if the, if the total damage, let's say this did do 20 damage every time it, in many cases, it would feel like, yeah, it makes sense to just, just go for it. If there's a high enough probability if it deals a high enough amount of damage, we're just going to go for it unless these specific scenarios um, so the higher the probability, the more willing you are to just say, I know it might fail, but let's just give it a chance because it's probably going to work and it's just better versus if it's got a low probability and it's like, okay, I'm only going to use that if I'm desperate. Now, another, another feature that would be honestly pretty interesting is if you could somehow keep track of skill with a bow or with any other weapon. And to somehow like weight that, like that's another way you could extend this is to give some sort of like categories, like skill points. And um, so then if a skeleton gets a hold of it, maybe they're not good at shooting and they would, even if they did get a hold of a bow, they would miss a lot. So anyway, I, that's enough for this challenge. And so we'll be done here, but I will see you guys next time.